What do we got? See, you get to say it this time. I know, because this came because to you, not to me. It came in the mail. I was so happy. I know. You got a nice box, full bottle. The, the box came with big bottles, and the only response I got from my better half was, what did you do? <laughs> wow, well, that's normal. What I did is I responded to an email that we got from the folks at Big Thirst Market. Mm -hmm. So there was a media event for Santa Fe Spirits, which we unfortunately were unable to attend. And in that media event, they sent out three different samples. This is the cast strength, this is their single malt, and this is their apple brandy finish. Mm -hmm. So they sent three different bottles to sample of their uh, single malt whiskey. It's from Colkegan Single Malt Whiskey, is the name brand, from Santa Fe Spirits. They're in Santa Fe, New Mexico. The founder, Colin Keegan, Cole Keegan, get it? I See, got it, I got he's it. He's a crafty guy. That's good. Um, he puts together this stuff, and uh, they put out a lot of gin, they do a vodka, do some other things. They also make a PX cask. Mm -hmm. So there's other things out there. I think tonight we're just going to try the center bottle. Yep. Just a single malt, um, which I see you've unwrapped the plastic yes. on. And uh, you pour while I read. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. This is the Cole Keegan single malt whiskey. Wait, wait, hold on. You get a pop. Wait. Did we and get it? will there be? Will there be? Wait, wait. Oh, I heard it. Gypsy Rosé, back in the house. Oh, the glug glug. Oh, that's so nice. In order for a spirit to be called Scotch Whiskey, it must be a product of Scotland. Although Santa Fe Spirits Colkegan Single Malt Whiskey is proud to pay homage to its heritage, this whiskey is much more than just another peat smoke whiskey from across the pond and wouldn't want to be called Scotch, even if it could be. Like its Scottish single malt cousin, Santa Fe Spirits Colkegan Single Malt Whiskey, it is made entirely from malted barley, carefully distilled and aged, and finished in various oak casks hmm. to enhance the complex flavors inherent to true single malt whiskey. They, uh, but there are key differences that set this remarkable spirit apart from its Scottish relatives. While peat smoked malt has always been a key ingredient in many well-known Scotch whiskeys, Santa Fe Spirits Colkegan Single Malt Whiskey Wonderfully complex flavor profile benefits from a very different type of smoked malt. Hmm. Mesquite. The result is a smooth, mellow, mysteriously balanced hint of smoky complexity unique to Santa Fe Spirits. Santa Fe Spirits single malt whiskey's unique barrel aging process also separates it from its low altitude relatives. Santa Fe Spirits is located 7,000 feet above sea level in the high desert and utilizes a climate controlled barrel warehouse with temperatures ranging from freezing cold to sweltering hot and humidities ranging from bone dry to unbelievably damp. Hmm. A strict regimen of climate changes yields a spirit with amazing complexity unraveled by, unrivaled, unraveled, unrivaled by more temperate warehouses. I think if you drink enough of this you will be unraveled. Santa Fe Spirits Cold Keegan Single Malt Whiskey is the deliciously unique result of an Englishman moving to the desert of the Southwest, hmm. building a distillery and hybridizing time-honored Scottish distilling techniques with the unique flavors and climate of his home. Hmm. Fascinating. I'm intrigued. So there's a lot of stuff out here. You know what's interesting? There was a little bit like dripping down the side of the bottle, so I kind of scooped oh. it up my finger and tasted it a little bit. And you know what I said to myself? Barbecue. Why I lick, why I looked away? Did you lick the bottle again? No, why you I did not lick the bottle. This Look, is a little drop right there. This is is ninety six proof, so forty six percent ABV. Hmm. Sir, not bad. Oh, 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 let me get it right. Let me get right down the bottom. There we go. Ah, beautiful. So we got a pop, we got a glug glug, and we got a nice ring a ding. Nice ring. Nice. A ring a ding ding. Ring a ding ding. Nice going there, Dean. Oh, I like this one. Oh, get the it's like a sweet the, the barbecue. It's like a little sweet. A hint. Just yeah, a hint. Just a, just a, it's not like... Susan. <clears throat> it's not like the uh, brimstone. No. Which is the scrub oak. You right. know, whatever they were using. It smells like that brimstone. Intense, <laughs> right. Which I like. Not saying I don't like that, but this is... This That's is not what that is. And then there is, there is another one that uh, the West Coast and I reviewed. Um, Del Bac. And they're out of Tucson, Arizona. Right. And I think they also do mesquite. Yeah. That, I, I think that might have been a little smoky around the nose in this one. That was also very good. Yeah. It smells great. I'm I going like in. Smell. It's like a it's like a gentle, yeah. sweet barbecue note. You know? And for forty six percent ABV, I'm not getting a lot of vapors. No. The mouthfeel is surprisingly like a little viscous. I chewed my whiskey. Hmm. It was very good. That's kinda nice. 
I'm getting like the, you know, the caramelized sugars that you typically mm. would get, but so much like barbecue flavor, like I'm getting meat. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not, I don't think it's overpowering. It's really no. good. No, no, It's no, like no. subtle. No, no. It's very subtle. It's really good. It's almost like, you know, some of the Cohomans we've had that are like, uh, like the sherry finish yeah, ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, where you get that, you get that barbecue, yeah. that kind of almost like a Southwest can, flavor? Because yeah. that's like peated, but, but because of the... You know the the wine cast finishing that they use on the Kilhoman. It, it doesn't it yeah. doesn't have like the lafroiginess of it. Uh, I'm thinking it's it's a little bit like uh, the Glen Scotia's the clam bake kind of flavor to mm. it, where you get like the charcoal, you get like the the roasted kind of flavor, like you're cooked on, oak, over an open fire. It's it's really good. That is very nice. It's really good. That's very nice. The flavors are nice and rounded. Mm -hmm. It feels complete. I don't know how old it is. Do we know how old this is? It doesn't give you an age statement. Doesn't give you. I'm, it, I'm not really sure. But you know how some, well maybe it's more really like sure. the corn and like the rise, like the American like style grain whiskeys, where they're a little grainy when they're yeah. not quite finished. <clears throat> this doesn't feel that way. This feels complete. I also am very intrigued by the um, the climate process. Right. I wonder if they force like almost overage the stuff yeah. by adjusting the internal temperatures to go from like they said. Freezing cold to burning hot, unbelievably dry to unbelievably damp. If they do that to get the cast to go and open and close and open and close to rapidly like hyper age, what goes on here? You, you know what I'm thinking. You know what I'm thinking. We could do, although it's a little dangerous because it's a lot of driving. We could almost do a Southwest whiskey tour. You know we, what I'm thinking. We shouldn't drive. We should hire someone to drive. Okay, us. we could do that. We could do that. <laughs> But I'm thinking we start in Austin because we've tried a lot of Southwest whiskeys these days. We, we right? have, we have. There's been quite a bit. We've had, we have, we've had the uh, Milo and Green out of Austin or mm -hmm. Blanco, Texas. I think we've had them. We've had the Maverick in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. We've done Balcone or Balconis or Balcones in Waco, right? Now we've got Santa Fe, and then you haven't tried it yet. But we got Del Bac out in Tucson. So, I mean, granted, that's about a thousand miles. And, you know, people in Colorado, we could zip over uh, there. That's true. We're, again, if we're not driving, we just, you know, you tap know, our chauffeur on the back. Well, a quick little turn. While we're doing that, you know, we can go out to High West. We can go out to Salt Lake City or Park City. We can go to Park City, Utah and do that too. Oh, that's it. I'm quitting my job. We How just need to quit our jobs and clear things with our significant others. No, we just disappear. We'll be back in four months? No, we just five months. Disappear. Never? We'll be back never? Never back. Never back. Never back. But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going like, I'm going like B plus, A minus. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very uh, pleased with this. You know, and, and we're going to review this one now. I think we should, yeah, you We'll know, do the other ones later. We'll do the other ones later. But, you know, the problem now is that I like this one so much that I want to try the other ones now. The, um, the, the other thing that um, during the call, which we were not a part of, mm -hmm. Colin um, Keegan was involved. Yeah. And afterwards, he was very gracious and thanked everyone for being involved. And I got copied in because I was on the mass email. Yeah. And it seems as if we really should get him to speak about some of this. I think we should. Explain the aging statements and some of the other things that goes on yeah. here. Just so we have a good idea of the climate, what goes into it, uh, where they right. get the mesquite, everything else. I want to know what it's, it's like um, to be going It's somewhere. very interesting. They make an apple brandy and then age their whiskey in the apple brandy casks. Mm -hmm. They bring out a single malt casks. They got straight, you know, single casks. They, they do a bunch of different things. The PX mm -hmm. cask is... Something they were willing to offer to us. Yeah, um, we'll have to get that, so we can offer an opinion on that as well. But right. this, you know, again, I don't. 2010 is when it started, so they've been around 12 years, mm -hmm. and they they're good. This is pretty good stuff. Mm -hmm. I like it. So, mm -hmm. sir, cheers to you. <laughs> cheers to Santa Fe Spirits, Mr. Colin Keegan. And the folks at Big Thirst. And Big Thirst for keeping us in yeah. the loop and sending out this yummy stuff. Yeah. So I'm really excited to try the other ones. Yeah, try the other two. Yeah, yeah. So cheers, folks. Cheers.